In this video, Kevin and I are going to give you our May likes and dislikes. These are things that we we really, really liked or we really, really disliked. Um, and, uh, you know, some things we, we we dislike and they don't end up in here because we didn't absolutely hate them and the same thing goes for likes you know some th a lot of things we really like but we have to be passionate about them I guess for them to end up in this video so we always start with the things that we we didn't like and we get that over with so we can end on a happier note um, you want to pick we have three things <laughs> These are the Smashmallow Cinnamon Churros. They were uh, nasty. They were, they were, <laughs> foul, foul. they were very nasty. The texture was, it, honestly, you would have thought that they were old, that they were stale, out of date, they're and they're not at all, no. Uh, but you can see, I just sealed the whole bag of it. They have like another and, seven months or Yeah, I sealed the whole bag of it and just threw them in here because I don't even want to give them away. I don't want <laughs> to subject anyone else to that yeah. flavor. And the cinnamon flavor and stuff wasn't good either. Because so. if you tried those, you wouldn't want to try any of their other products. Yeah, it was the cinnamon yeah, was it's just... really bad. Yeah, a bad cinnamon. Okay, so there's that. I'm then we have the tangy zangy the squares these are the sour wild, wild fruit. fruit and i don't we were like what fruit is this yeah i don't know <laughs> where they got the fruit but uh, it had like a um almost like a pruney kind of raisiny flavor kind it of. wasn't it was like weird. candy at all no it was weird it uh, it was really really the, bad the squares they're, they're kind of tough so they're not necessarily easy to they're like a scouring on. pad. They are. Really. Really thin. They got sugar all over them, so that is the only thing that saved them, even remotely. But yeah, they're. they're bad. This next one is a first for Kevin and I. I we are not. Well, no, it's not that. <laughs> we didn't put this. This is the first time ever that we didn't put something in here because of the flavor but because of the texture. And if you <laughs> if you watch this video, then you will remember that uh, we about broke our teeth <laughs> trying to take a bite out of these uh, things. Um, it, the, the cookies and cream, it wasn't the flavor. It was just that texture. See, I blocked it from my mind. I don't even remember. You don't remember? Oh my goodness, no ice cream should ever be that hard. We tried three. Oh yeah, dude, yes. you would have to let this sit out for a while. But it doesn't we... say to let no, it sit out. No, but you would have to. And it's an ice to. cream sandwich. Should you really have to let an ice cream sandwich? What other ice cream sandwich would you ever in the world have to let but sit out? It's made with chickpeas, so what do you expect? Well, <laughs> there, we tried three things in that video, and honestly, I, I could have put two of the three in here, but I just chose that I remember one. Those. They were so incredibly hard; it, it was just ridiculous. So that one is not based on flavor, but it is based on that uh, the texture. It was awful. Um, okay, so I'll show you one of mine first. Yeah. This is the Hammond's Bourbon Pecan Pie. It's good. This is... If you um, like bourbon. Had yeah. a really strong bourbon flavor. Yes, and I really like bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> and bourbon balls. And uh, yes, uh, love the flavor of the bourbon. This is has to be my favorite Hammond's candy yeah. bar. And um, we've been pretty hit and miss with Hammond's. Yes, too, so. some of them I absolutely did not like at all. I thought, yeah, they were, I thought this is way overpriced for what it is. This one, it, they're a dollar ninety nine. Um, uh, we got it at Tuesday morning. I absolutely loved it. Mm -hmm. um, it was a delicious candy bar. I'm gonna do both of these since okay. the same thing. These are the Prestat. They uh, we bought these at Home Goods. I was actually able to get them on sale, and they're from the United Kingdom. They are. Uh, this is the hazelnut praline truffles. And they have the pink Marc de Champagne truffles. And these, were, I think these were like the best. Those were your favorite. These were actually yeah. my favorite. Yeah. I put them both in Kevin's pile because I have more stuff right. than him. But um, yeah, I, I I love the texture of these. We tried four of these in one video, and one of them we didn't like at all. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't hate it, but we just wouldn't have it again. These two we really yeah, loved. Really, they were really delicious. Uh, great hazelnut flavor. Um, if you see the this brand Prestat in Home Goods, I would recommend picking them up. Um, 
Then, you want me to show something? Okay, I liked, the, we did a blind taste test between the Haribo watermelon and the Sour Patch watermelon. Kevin actually liked the Sour Patch better, but I liked the Haribo. Um, I liked the Haribo because it had a, a lighter flavor watermelon and they were bigger pieces, whereas the Sour Patch, it was a very strong flavor. But somebody left a comment, and I really liked their comment because it made a lot of sense. They said, I would actually prefer the stronger flavor, that way I eat less of them. And I thought, well, that's a really good way of looking at it. So, you that's know. That's not why I preferred it, but that is a good idea. It, it, just, <laughs> it just depends on uh, how you look at it. Yep. But but I liked the, the lighter watermelon flavor, so these were my favorite. Yeah. Why did you like the Sour Patch? Just because they were stronger flavors. Yeah, they were stronger but, I mean, flavors. that's a good reason. That is a that's good another, reason. I like that's another that reason. reason to that's like smart them. thinking on yeah. your part. Right. These are the... Um, Yamalo, Yamalo, Yum 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 the uh, strawberry filled marshmallows. We had never had really a filled marshmallow, and uh, we tried this and a couple other ones, and and this was the best out of the batch. I mean, this, these are really, really. They're delicious. Yeah. You ever see these? These come from Walmart, didn't they? Walmart. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And and they've been out for a little while, and I just never, I you never grabbed them. Yeah, either. we don't look at marshmallows <laughs> often, but they they had come out with a, a different brand had come out with some filled. Uh, they were had chocolate in the middle, and they were Ashley's coming in. So you're gonna hear the the door. The it's okay. Uh, we're just gonna keep on going with it. She'll realize that we're filming in here. Um, but they had come out with some chocolate ones, and so I thought, you know what? While we're buying marshmallows, I'm gonna buy these, and I'm so glad that I did because those these were are absolutely awesome. terrific. These are definitely these would be a good thing to just keep around a snack on. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then we have uh, the Built Bars, and this is the Strawberry Chocolate Cream. These are, um, I've noticed from people in the comments that either uh, you love them or you oh, yeah. hate them. Most people really love them, but some people some people don't like the texture of them. Oh, some really? Because I thought don't. they were really like a Mars bars, and they, they, they were they, like they were like a, a, a Milky Way. Milky Way. Yeah, like Mars. a marshmallow Milky yeah. Way. Yeah. Yeah. They the same thing. yeah. Um, yeah, it has like a creamy kind of whipped feel. You're yeah. right, Mars yeah. bar. Um, yeah, these were delicious. I'm surprised some people didn't like that texture. But if you don't like that, they probably wouldn't like that that candy bar too much either. Though. You know, where you have your hang-ups about yeah, some oh textures, yeah. and I yeah. do too. So yeah. that's it's, just it's just funny when you think about it that oh, well, people wouldn't like that. But then right. I don't like some some other things that people are like, why doesn't he like that? Right. So yeah, right. It's, it's interesting. Uh, but the, the strawberry, the str besides the banana, the banana was the limited edition yeah. flavor. The banana was probably our all-time favorite was, flavor. Definitely. I don't know why it's limited edition, but they should make it all the time. Uh, but but as far as the bars that you can get all the time, right. the strawberry. Yeah, I agree. So. I have four more. Okay, um, I'll just do another one. Uh, this is the No Bake Cookie Company, mm -hmm. the creamy uh, peanut butter bar. This was a creamy peanut butter cookie. This was a surprise because I just didn't, had never even heard of this company before. And Kevin and I found them very randomly. And I thought, well, I, we both love no bake cookies. We mm -hmm. grew up with our parents uh -huh. making no bake cookies. And uh, these peanut butter, this was just a very good representation of a, a no bake cookie. If you can get one of these, I would recommend it. Now, I have never seen them sold anywhere else around us except for where we bought them, and that was Circle K, Circle K. which is a very random place. Like a little gas station convenience store. Yeah, so if you see these sold in your area, you can leave that in the comments for other people. Maybe that, that will probably be helpful for them so they'll know where to find them. But mm -hmm. around here, I don't know where else you can get them, but they're good. Okay, speaking of Circle K, I have actually five more. That's okay. These potato chips. These are the salt and pepper, um, or sea salt and cracked pepper kettle chips. Um, me and Andrew tried these. Yes. And uh, they're, they have a really good salt and pepper flavor. And uh, Andrew actually raved about these too. Um, both of us were like, this is what all basic flavored chips should taste like. It's like just a basic salt and pepper potato chip. You shouldn't have just a regular plain chip. They mm -hmm. all taste like this. Um, but this is the Circle K brand. 
So it's pretty good. The only the only bad thing about these is the kill chips. They tend sometimes they're a little harder than others, and I know some people don't like that really hard chip. So right. I wish they made regular potato regular. chips in, instead of the kettle, but the flavor is excellent. Right. Um, I have the uh, coppers. These are uh, chocolate sea salt caramels. We found mm, these at those. Tuesday morning. Those are good. Only 99 cents and they were awesome. Mm -hmm. um, actually, everything from this brand was very, yeah, very they good. Were good. Good texture, um, good flavor, everything about it. Yes, good. very good. So I don't know where else you'll find these besides Tuesday. That's the bad thing about buying things at Home Goods and Tuesday morning is it's like, okay, well, I found it here, but where can other people, if you don't have a Tuesday morning or Home Goods, uh, where can you get these? I don't know. I'm well, sorry. even at Tuesday morning at Home Goods, you wait two weeks and they may and not gone. ever have them again. <laughs> so if you go in there and you see something and you're curious about it, Try. you better go ahead and get it because it probably won't be there yeah. when you come back. Yeah, they're kind of like big lots in that way. They the get stuff out and it goes stuff. away. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do these. They're they're both. Um, well, one of those was actually my favorite. So I Marva? Mer uh, yeah, Marva. Marva brand uh, cookies. These are the white chocolate and cranberry cookies. And then the apple pie cookies. The white chocolate and cranberry were my favorite. Actually. And the apple pie were mine. <laughs> um, these uh, these are made in the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. And these are uh, we did you say we found them at Tuesday mm -hmm. morning? Yeah, yeah, we found them at Tuesday morning. And uh, I've had some comments uh, to let me know that some of you all have also found them at Tuesday morning, and I'm thrilled. Yeah, um, they're good cookies. I'm very happy when we find something here and you can find it in your area. Mm -hmm. uh, they're thick. They have a lots of uh, of stuff in them. They're and they weren't real hard either. Were no, they? Yeah. but this one's like full of white chocolate and cranberries. Mm -hmm. And and Kevin's and had, the apple one had a really good rich apple flavor. Yes, yes. So well worth getting these. I don't know if they're gonna have these uh, year round or not. That's one of those things. Probably not. You probably right. should get them while you can. Um, Your turn. This, um, I'll go ahead and show you these. These are no the surprise. Hershey's Gold. Hershey's Gold Kisses. They were very, very good. And I even made the recipe on the back. I even did a video of the uh, the golden pretzel blossoms is what they're called. And I was worried when I made the, the pretzel blossoms because that when you went to stick the, the kiss into them, you know, normally like a peanut butter cookie, when you would put the kiss in it, it kind of, it Melting melts in. down in there this because you put um other things in it uh there were peanuts or something else and pretzels there were pretzels and peanuts in there it was kind of hard to get your um kiss to go in it but once it did it's fine and these are absolutely they make the most delicious cookies i, I put the link on my my blog tammydown.net if you're curious um but they're absolutely wonderful cookies, but if you just buy these uh, uh, Hershey's Gold Kisses, I love them, and I think actually buying these is better than buying a candy bar because these are better portion control for me than a whole candy bar. Because if I buy a whole candy bar, I'm going to eat the whole thing. Right. Whereas this, I can pick and choose. Now, it wasn't helpful to me when I literally sat down and ate 20 of them in one night. But, you know, that was my choice. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, love those. All right. Um, these are the Broca mm -hmm. um, cheese sticks and cheese crispies, and they were both the cheddar, weren't they? Yes. Yeah. They're both cheddar. They're just different shapes, but they also had different flavors. Even though they were different shapes, they tasted slightly different. Um, I think I actually liked the crackers better. Those were from Tuesday morning. Yeah, the cheese crispies were actually the best, and they those are the ones that had the layers, weren't they? Mm -hmm. The sticks are literally just cheese sticks, but these crispies, and they had another flavor too we really liked. Um, but the flavor, the, the texture of the bread is not like anything you've ever had before. It's like a um, they've taken a pastry and it's got layers upon layers and the layers stacked and they've sliced them like this. So you get all these little layers of bread in that square. So it was, uh, it was just They're nothing flavor. like what we have here. No, sure. I've never had anything like that. No. And I think they said it was their, their unique or signature layered cracker or right. something like that. These have been around for a million years. Oh, yeah. hundreds, hundreds, <laughs> These are hundreds, Hostess yeah. Cinnamon Streusel Coffee Cakes. And uh, they're just something that I've really been enjoying this month. They were so fresh. And un good. unfortunately, they're not bigger. Uh, 
<laughs> Probably fortunately they're not bigger honestly. Um, because the size of a bear claw. I could definitely <laughs> eat uh, I I could definitely eat two of these at a time. No, I didn't. I stopped at one. Uh, but I could definitely eat two of these at once yeah, because they're so nice um, and moist and fresh and the cinnamon flavor is very, very sweet. Unlike the uh, in the very beginning, we showed you the uh, smash mallow, the cinnamon churro. It's a completely different cinnamon. Whatever cinnamon they're using, they're using the good cinnamon. Um, they 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 know how to do these cakes. They do them right. So if for some reason you've never tried the Hostess uh, cakes, the cinnamon cakes, you need to try. Them. Yeah, they're very good. Right. Yeah. Then the last one that I have is the Snyder's of Hanover. Uh, these are pretzel pieces of Parmesan garlic, and I think I ended up eating all of these. <laughs> you did. Uh, they are, they're excellent. Uh, first of all, I like most Hammond's um, chips, I mean the uh, Snyder's of Hanover's chip, uh, pretzel chips anyway. Mm -hmm. um, the honey mustard's like one of my all-time favorites, although this one's really, really close. Mm -hmm. um, but it had such a good garlic Parmesan flavor, it was really good. And, and I think somebody asked you once, did you really taste the Parmesan? Mm -hmm. uh, it's mostly garlic. Yeah. You would probably miss the Parmesan if it wasn't there, but, but for me, the Parmesan wasn't like the standout flavor. But uh, if it wasn't, if it wasn't present, you would miss it. Let's put it that way. So these are excellent. It reminds you a lot of the garlic butter that you get like at Papa John's. Yeah. If oh, you yeah. like that garlic butter. Yeah, where you're dipping um, the breadsticks it's in. It's delicious. Yeah. So uh, Kevin does not have any lunchtime reviews to share with yeah. us. Kevin has another channel called Lunchtime Review, and he reviews frozen foods four days a week and one day a week he goes out to eat this month he just doesn't have any sometimes yeah. sometimes that happens. i get standout sometimes i get eh, it's yeah. just all okay however he uh i always go over what he's had for the month and i ask him what he liked the most and yeah. what he liked the least so and i usually forget where i've been that month so. yeah <laughs> so for the month of may you had the fazelli's parmesan crusted alfredo bake okay you had, and you know how he found out about that? Um, there was, we were leaving, we, no, we pulled up to Home Goods, and there was a big billboard right in front of Home Goods yeah, with good. the Fazoli's, and it showed a picture of it. And Kevin said, oh, I need to try need that. To try so that that's where he saw that. Billboards, they still work. Um, and then he had the Wendy's Sawsome Bacon Chicken. He had the Arby's King's Hawaiian Big Kahuna. He had the City Barbecue More Cowbell, um, and then he had Little Caesars Deep Dish Pepperoni. So first, I'm going to ask you which one you like the least. Oh, that Fiz the Fazoli's Parmesan Crusted Alfredo. So the billboard uh, honestly, worked, however. <laughs> honestly, it wasn't bad. It was just boring. I mean, it just wasn't anything to it. It was kind of plain. It was just, it wasn't, it just wasn't anything to it. Oh. Um, I mean, it was just pasta and cheese sauce. Right. If they had a literally, the Parmesan crusted was just a little dusting of Parmesan. Mm -hmm. If they covered it, the whole thing up with, with a better crust of that, it would have like been some much, cheese. It would have been much, cheese. much better. It had cheese all through it, but it wasn't that crispy, crusty cheese right. on the top. So that was probably my least favorite. Um, I'm having a hard time deciding between two. Well, there's two, there's di totally different kinds of food on there, so yeah. I can understand that. The, the, first of all, the Little Caesars deep dish pepperoni surprised me that I liked it so much because I almost always have associated Little Caesars with just cheap pizzas, mm -hmm. which they are cheap pizzas and they're five dollars. Right. But, um, but that deep dish pizza, it's um, different. It was so good. It had such a good crispy crust on the outside. The pepperoni had a really good flavor to it. It had tons of cheese on it. It was good and bready. Had plenty of sauce. I mean, the whole thing was good. And uh, we had told Ashley that we had one. She goes, oh, well, I love those things. So Ashley likes them too. Mm -hmm. So so that that was probably my favorite. Plus it was $5 for them. You get that and a bottled drink, which a bottled drink at a store is dollars most of the time right. so if you think about what you get with that you're getting a really really good deal right and i'm assuming they have those uh lunch meal deals everywhere I right think. yeah um the other one i was kind of thrown with being mixed up was the arby's the king hawaiian big kahuna and i hate to say it but it wasn't because it was the king's hawaiian part the king's hawaiian bun was was good but there was so much on that sandwich 
I, I think you could put any kind of bread on them, and I don't think it would have made any difference. Right. Because there was so much other stuff going on. That it covered. That covers covered, up the yeah. taste of the bread. Now, you could tell the difference in texture. Kings of wine tends to be a, a softer, denser bread, so it really squishes down flat almost when you're eating it. Mm -hmm. um, so so that made a difference. It wasn't this soggy bun kind of thing. But um, but beyond that, that was probably my favorite. The sauce of bacon sheep cheddar, uh, the bacon chicken was good. Um, but the sauce, so they needed more sauce and sauce on there. And um, the city barbecue was, I was kind of disappointed in that because it really didn't have the flavor I was expecting. I, unless you like drenched it in barbecue sauce, it really didn't taste like anything. And Kevin makes really good barbecue here at home. So yeah, he needs some rub or something. Yeah, he's comparing mm. it to his own. I mean, and he makes some good barbecue. It was so. basically just, if you take in some uh, brisket, some kind of roast or whatever, and just slice it up, that was the flavor of the meat. It really wasn't anything beyond just meat. I mean, it didn't have any rub or spices or anything in it. So right. you had to have the sauce to make it good. Yeah. So that is that. This is uh, um, at the end of next month, at the end of June, I think uh, we're, we'll be one? another, yeah, I think we're going to be doing June I favorites. I remember if it was June or July. I think, it, I think it's at the end of June. We'll see. But I'm thinking we'll be doing yearly favorites very soon because I started my year funny. I started doing this in the middle of a year. So pretty soon we're going to be having a whole year's uh, worth of favorites. Uh, so hopefully you all look forward to that video and we'll catch you next month.